What up, y'all? I'm going to show y'all how to set up a drum program. All right, man, I'm going to use some kits that I know everybody got. The content that came with it. All right, first, you want to go to this little drop down menu right here. I'm going to hit factory content. Boom, these will come up right here. If you ain't seen my other video on how to set these folders and all this stuff up, then go go check that out right now. Get out of here. Nah, I'm just joking, but I'll show you. All right, man, we're going to go to the Elements of Dance folder. Let's double-click that. All right, you got your filter buttons up here. We'll go and filter out to the program. Let's pick uh, the Cell Trio. All right, it's right here. You want to drag and drop onto your first pad. Or you could drag and drop it over here to your projects, holder thing with all your info. It's easy as that to bring in your pre-made uh, programs, but I'll show you how to make your own. Look over here to this box. You see, if you're not, if you clicked on a different program, your samples are not going to show up. But you got an all samples button right here. It's going to show every sample that you've loaded in. Let's say, I'm going to go back over here and show you something. Let me go to the samples filter. So I'm going to pick a sample. I'm going to load it in all samples. And I hit the so trill kit, and uh, you can't see it in there. So that's how that works right there. If you always want to see all your samples, go to all samples. And if you want to switch stuff out, let's just go here and grab something. Let's grab this uh, bro clap, whatever. I'll add this into a five here. Boom, it just switches it out. That's all it does. Your other sample's still over here. You can bring it right back in. Drag and drop it right back in. But all right, I know you want to know how to set up your own program, so I'm going to show you how to do that. You can keep this program or throw it away, whatever. I'll show you how to delete it. All right, go over here to the Soul Trio, this little box, and you want to right-click it and hit Delete. Sure you want to delete? Yeah, I'm sure, man. And then, boom, bet your samples from that kit are still going to be inside all your samples up here so if you want to get rid of that you go to this trash can up here pull that on the screen here you got purge unused samples that's going to delete all samples that's not assigned to a pad if you got samples assigned to the pad it's not going to delete that sample but uh delete all samples that's going to do what it says delete all samples you got loaded up so do it we're cool we're fresh to go now you see over here, always when you start a new project, you're going to have a program one. So we're going to use that to make a new program. So let's click on this, and it's always a best practice to name these. You don't want to get like me. My stuff's all jumbled up. When I move to Windows 10 or something, my stuff's going to be horrible. But yeah, you want to right-click it. Then you want to rename it. We're going to see here. We're going to rename it something like... Uh, yeah, JoJo's Funhouse. Man, I bet that's a dope kit right there. Is that JoJo's Funhouse? All right, okay, we got that. Push OK, and boom, you got your program right here. All right, I'm going to go over here to my samples are. Got a video on this, so go check it out. Reset up your folders. I'm going to go to a kit, one of the best drum kits I always mess with, T Customs, man. Go check him out if you don't know about him. Hit him up on YouTube, his site. He got some great free drum kits, man. We're just going to load in. Just double-click that on your folder. It's going to load in this first kit. Boom, you hit it. And all you got to do is drag and drop them over a bit. You see down here, this little box? This is where you can add new programs to. You can push the, well, here's the drop down menu by the type. You got drum programs, plugins, the MIDI, and the key group. Uh, you can use key groups too, make bass lines, different stuff. I don't use, I use drum programs for my drums and my samples. So we're just going to study on drum programs. And you could go right here and add another one with the little plus button. Let's make sure we got our drum kit selected. So when I do drop a sample in here, it'll drop on the pad. So I'm going to pull this snare over here. Boom. Let's pull a kick. Boom. Hat. Boom. They're set.
but they're set. And uh, you want to do the save these, you know, after you done set up your drum kit, and you want to save this for another project for easy access. Like I got up here, my kits with my programs. I already got them set up so I can pull them straight in for a new project when I want to. You can save them down this way or you can save them up here. I never use this, so I'm not sure exactly. It probably does the same thing. Save current program. I'm going to show you the way down here. You want to go down here under your programs. You want to right click it. You want to hit save. Boom. It's going to pull up the window to your directory. You know, you can find out. You can get to your windows anywhere from here, your desktop, wherever you got your stuff at. But I already got mine. It already pops right up where my folder saved to, my MPC folder. But I'm going to go to Dial Programs. It's usually make a, another folder for your programs because it makes uh, duplicates of your samples. So you don't want to save it right back in the same uh, kit you brought it out of. It might, uh, you know, get your stuff all messed up. It's going to be jumbled up. Well, you can see I ain't done that, <laughs> but for like one folder. So I'm not taking my own device here. But uh, we're going to do this. Let's make a new folder. All I could do is go down here and hit new folder. And then name it. Let's get JoJo's Funhouse. Okay. Boom. The name's already of it. It's down here. Since we already named it, we're going to go to save. And boom. That kit is saved. And let me go over here and show you how to bring it right back in. Let me delete it out of the project. Let's right click it. Delete. Samples are still going to be in here. So I need to hit the trash can. And you can move your stuff over like this right here. I got limited screen space. So I'm having to do that. So boom. Bring that up. It's going to delete all samples. You can bring that kit right back in. Here are my kits over here. Here's the folder right here. See, I can just hit program buttons. And your filters, that's how that works. Got a whole video on that. Check that out. But man, anyways, we're going to hit this. Then boom. With samples. See, so yeah, it does make duplicates of your samples, I think, then. Since I hit the sample filter. No filter. You can see that's all, everything that was in that folder. Our program and our samples. I'll hit program. It's going to drag it on to the first pad. And it's just like we saved it, man. It's easy as that, man. That's how you do it. And I think that pretty much covers how to do drum programs, man. I got a quick video on how to fast get the sampling, man. Over here in your sample edit. That's where you're going to drop your sample in. But I got a fast video on how to make a program out of your sample and get the sampling real quick, man. So check that out. Stay tuned to the step-by-step -step videos, man. I'll holler at y'all later.